What if I tell you that there is a secret NVIDIA driver Fortnite tweakers and pro players want to keep away from you because they know that it's broken. In today's video I'm gonna just continue the how to remove input delay in season 7 series and trust me guys I found a whole bunch of new steps and if you guys want to support my work please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and without any further ado so let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys and as mentioned I'm also going to show you this best NVIDIA GeForce driver which so many Fortnite pro players are using right now and trust me it's all proven I'm gonna link everything in the description and a very very important tweaker from the community just told us that this driver gives you less input delay and we're talking about the driver of the number 457.30 and as you can see this is a little bit older but don't be worried there just simply click here on download and then you can see it already here and just drag it onto your desktop guys so yeah guys but before we can actually install this new driver here we have to get rid of the old one because otherwise it won't work just so all you have to do is go into a windows search bar and type in control until you find the control panel and then just simply go into programs and programs and features and then you see like an endless list with all the programs you have installed right now here on your PC and you just have to scroll down a little bit until you find your Nvidia graphics driver and as you can see the one I'm using right now is the one 461.92 and just simply click here, right click on it and click on to uninstall. So guys, and after we successfully uninstalled our old drivers guys, all you have to do is just simply double click onto this new installer here of the version 457.30. Please make sure that it's that one. And then just simply this new window here will open up and then just press okay here. There's just simply where your Nvidia drivers will get extracted to. It's just gonna take like a short while and everything should be then ready to install. So yeah guys, but since we're running basically brand new drivers on our PC, we have to again adjust everything our Nvidia control panel settings I'm just gonna speed run this super quick here guys. Under the first setting, adjust image with settings and preview. Just click here on the third option and drag this one all the way to the left side for performance and just simply hit apply here real quick. Just gonna take a few seconds. And then we go down here to manage 3D settings. And here again, guys, all you have to do is just simply watch my video, which I did already for the best NVIDIA control panel settings. I'm just gonna do it here real quick. Um, as you can see here, power management, we of course have to put it here to preferred maximum performance. Then we're just gonna scroll down a little bit here um, then we have highest uh, refresh rate possible, of course, here. Um, texture filter ring, we're just gonna drag it all the way here to highest performance. So yeah guys, and after we're done with that, it should look a little bit like my settings here. Just make sure to copy all of these here one by one. I'm just gonna leave a link to my full on guide where I tell you exactly what which setting does here um, in a detailed video, guys. But besides that, just make sure to copy everything here. And since we again changed something here in our 3D settings, we have to go again into our image settings. And as you can see it again, selected here the second option, use the advanced 3D image settings. So again, we have to go here on use my preference and drag it all the way to the left side for performance and apply it now. And after we're done with that guys, we're just gonna go here under display to change my resolution and real quick make sure that we're running exactly the resolution we wanted to run in the first place. Maybe you guys are running like a custom resolution, I don't know, something like 1750 times 1080. And obviously also make sure that you're running the highest amount of um, hertz your monitor can offer, the highest refresh rate, which is for me 240. And then just simply press apply here again. You applied everything correctly. And now we're done here again with our NVIDIA control panel settings. And now let's continue with the next steps. So yeah guys, and for this next big step, I'm gonna show you now a program which is called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. And trust me guys, this program is insane. For the sake of the video guys, I took out 16 gigs of RAM of my PC because I think the majority of you are probably playing on like 8 to 16 gigs of RAM. So therefore it's like easier to explain here with these numbers. I'm just gonna try to explain real quick how RAM works. RAM is like basically all the time saving information on the RAM stake, which is the standby list and system working set more or less. And as you can see, this is gonna get freed up now over the time. I just started the program, so it's got like reset it. And the longer you play or actually use your PC, this number is gonna go up. And the less free memory you have, the slower your Windows is gonna run in the long term. Let's say you're gonna play like an hour of Fortnite, this is easily gonna go up to 10,000. So let's say with like 16 gigs of RAM, we would now have, um, with 10,000 we would only have like 6,000 uh, megabytes left, which is like 6 gigs of RAM. And what this program does, it literally all the time when it's running in the background, it makes sure that the standby list is getting cleaned like every few seconds guys, which is super, super nice. So therefore we have more free RAM actually in the background, which will help us to boost our system power and we will get definitely 100% more FPS. And also if you're running like eight gigs of RAM, this is even more important because you have way less RAM to work with and therefore like quicker, less free memory available. So guys, and what I would like you to do in the first place is join my Discord guys, because there I have this 
program here in the channel. You can literally straight up get it from my Discord. Um, it's only like one or two megabytes, I think, in total. So yeah, just simply drag it onto your desktop. And then afterwards you're done with that, just simply launch it. And as you can see right now, as mentioned, guys, I'm just put it on 16 gigs of RAM because I think most of the people will have this. And what I did here for 16 gigs of RAM is that I put the least size here on 1024 and the free memory is lower than 8000 megabytes. Obviously, you can also put this even lower if you're running like, let's say, 8 gigs of RAM. Um, put this on maybe like, I don't know, 4000 4, megabyte. You can just experiment around a bit a little bit. Just always like go for the half, I would say. If you're running like 16 gigs of RAM, put it on 8000, you know, so you have like the half. If you're running 8 gigs of RAM, put it on 4000. And what you want to do here on the right side is make sure that the enable custom timer resolution thing is checked here and then put the wanted timer resolution on 0.50. And then all you guys have to do is start this here and just simply keep it open in the background guys. And as soon as the free memory is going to be lower than 8000, um, this list is going to get cleared again, you know. It's not going to do it like instantly all, all the time. You can obviously also put it on lower, I don't know, than maybe like 1000, you know, so it would like literally get cleaned every few seconds. But I heard from tons of people that this can actually cause stutter and in-game lag. So therefore just keep it on 8000, you know, or just a half of your current RAM. And just keep it minimized in the background while gaming. And you will definitely have more FPS in the long term and also after a longer gaming session. And check guys, for this next step, we're just going to make sure that our Windows 10 is going to run way faster. So therefore we have more performance for our game. And I'm quite sure every one of you knows temp, you know, like this normal folder where you have like temporary files of Windows. But did you know that there's actually a way how you can disable it so they actually can be produced in the first place? And all you guys have to do is just simply go here into your Windows search bar and type in services until you find the services app and just simply open up this window. And there you can see now like an endless list with all the services running on Windows. And what are we looking for is sysmain. This is how it's pronounced, just simply sysmain. And there you can see it already guys, here it is running. And every Windows 10 PC should have this. Just simply right click onto it and go into properties. And what you want to do now here is just simply go here uh, under the service status. You can see that it's running currently. Just simply hit the stop here and it's going to get like shut down in the first place. And then we can see the startup type guys. And what you want to do is open up this drop down menu and just simply select disabled and then just simply hit apply, hit OK. And now you can see that sysmain is not running in the background. Pretty much what this does, it creates prefetch files, which are also just temporary files, which we don't want 100% guys. So please make sure to disable this. And trust me, you will notice a difference in speed of your Windows 10 immediately after your next restart. Well, yeah, guys, and as the next step, this is something which I see by way too many people, guys. All you have to do is open up your Epic Games Launcher and go into library. And then you see like a Fortnite here and these three little dots. And what you want to do then is go here into options. And there you can see that there's like additional stuff you can download besides actually only Fortnite Battle Royale. And I see way too many people which have high resolution textures as well installed, guys. And trust me, some more extra data in your Fortnite folder is just going to slow down your game performance and cost you important FPS. So please make sure to uncheck all of these here, guys. And the same also goes here for additional languages. If you're only speaking, I don't know, German, English or something like that, just keep it on simply that language, guys. Like, <laughs> don't have like extra languages here. Just simply download it so you have them, obviously. And if we checked everything here, just simply press apply and we should be good to go here as well with this step. So guys, and as you can see, we're right now here in creative. And if we take a look at the top left side of the screen, it says apparently that we're on 33 milliseconds of input delay. But if we actually add all the numbers together, the game input delay, render, driver, OSQ and GPU, we can clearly tell that we're not on 33 milliseconds of input delay. This is just a visual bug. It is because this driver is a little bit older. You already know, like not everything is working like 100% here with the NVIDIA. Um, services which are now here like more represented in the game actually since Nvidia and Fortnite are working a little bit more together and you might also get a message at the beginning of the game when you launch it that your Nvidia drivers are not the best right now but trust me a really known leaker which I'm gonna link as well in the description guys um, leaked tons of Fortnite pro players PCs especially with this driver here I mean guys you can just truly see it for yourself that I'm definitely not running 33 milliseconds of input delay that's simply not the case here. And yeah, I have to say it feels really, really smooth in my opinion. I'm just gonna try it out over the next few days, guys, to give you some more personal information about this driver version, but I do have to say it feels really snappy and actually like really responsive. 
And now I'm also going to show you the best Fortnite in-game settings since they might have changed as well after playing this new driver, so see you guys just in a second. And yeah guys, now I'm just going to show you real quick the best Fortnite in-game settings, just simply copy them all here one by one. Obviously for the resolution, just put in whichever resolution you're using right now. Besides that, on the graphics settings, I just put it on Triton Op 5 here because I found it really, really good in-game right now, but I mean that's also just personal preference, the colorblind. And if we actually take a look here at the normal graphics settings, you can see that I'm running the alpha performance mode on low measures guys, and I made a full on video explaining you guys why you should definitely switch to low measures. Trust me, it's such a huge advantage. And yeah, for the rest, I just keep my viewing distance on medium because I play, you know, arena and comps sometimes. So therefore, yeah, just keep it on medium here, guys. Um, obviously, for some competitive advantage, if you want to go for the max amount of FPS, just simply put it on near and the textures on low as well. And as we move over to the game settings, just simply scroll down all the way until you find the replays. Just make sure to disable all of these here because it's just going to put pressure on your PC, you know, and just cost you some important FPS. And then next up under the sound settings, just simply please make sure to put the sound quality on low since you can't really hear a noticeable difference between low and high or a difference at all, I would say. And even Epic Games themselves said if you put this on high, this might cause some stutter, you know, some in-game lags. And also for the visual sound effects, please turn this off, guys. I mean, you can literally straight up hear where people are come from. You don't need this and it's just going to cost you again more FPS. And if you applied all of these here correctly, guys, you get the best competitive settings in Season 7. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And please don't forget to join the Discord, guys. We're over 2,000 active members there, which is super, super insane. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.